This Saturday, the very first group one of the season, the Winx Stakes, takes place. So it's fair to say that the spring is starting to heat up here in Sydney. You have two of your headline acts from last autumn taking their place in the Group 2 Silver Shadow, a race for three-year-old fillies at Randwick. Yeah, well and truly. Uh, very exciting to be back at the races with a couple of these really nice prospects. Uh, Swift Witness uh, obviously put a line through a Golden Slipper run there, uh, but her form prior to that was, was outstanding. Uh, she's probably better suited out of the two at, at the first up 1,200 metres. Uh, like her latest trial, she's given a nice hit out. Uh, she's certainly improved off that. Uh, Till- Tilly Annam, uh, she's unbeaten at this stage. Uh, she's just the way she's developed this campaign. She gives the indication that she's going to continue to improve as she can get out in trip later on. Um, obviously, she's on a, a, a flight stakes um, path. Um, so, I think whatever she does on Saturday, she'll she'll no doubt continue to improve. And the enigmatic embracer steps out after a short freshen up in the Group 3 show county quality over 1,200 metres, his toughest contest to date. Yeah, it will be a good test for him, uh, finding found out exactly where he's at this, this preparation. Uh, as you point out, it can be a little bit hard to catch, uh, but he does get all the right conditions on, on Saturday. Uh, he used to usually races his best races fresh. Uh, so he's first up on Saturday. He's coming in off, off an excellent trial. Uh, he's got a nice light weight uh, and, importantly, a, a good drying track on, on Saturday. So we should be able to see all the right conditions for him to put his best foot forward. Down in Melbourne, Queen of Dubai has been penciled in for the three-year-old fillies plate over 1,200 metres at Mooney Valley on Saturday, as well as the fillies and mares benchmark 64 over 1,300 metres at Sandown the following Wednesday. Where do you see her heading next? Just weighing up which, which of those two options will be best for her. Obviously, her first start in Melbourne, I think she's got a lot of natural improvement out, out of that. Uh, she was sharp enough to win their first up. I think her natural class got her, got her through that. Uh, but now she's probably going to be looking for a little bit further. Uh, we do have a program mapped out for her, which sees her getting out in, in, in trip later in her campaign. So I think she's going to be better suited the further into the campaign that she goes. Uh, looks to be plenty of depth in, in, in both races for her. But I must say, I've been really impressed with the way that she's adapted down there and, and the way that she's training. So I expect it to be very competitive, uh, but no doubt she'll be better suited down, down later in a later in her preparation. On Sunday at Nowra, you've nominated Shala Philly, Bahaha, and Bunchen for Go Bloodstock and China Horse Club. Is there a standout for you? Uh, they, they do hold multiple nominations across a, a couple of races. Uh, also at Scone next next week and Bathurst next week. So uh, between each of them, they, they may find their in individual races. Uh, Bunchen's going in there off the back of a off off the back of a really nice trial. Uh, she's certainly a very sharp filly, uh, one that I'd certainly be following to whichever race she she goes to next. Uh, Bahaha is is bred to get over a little bit further, uh, and I think we've seen that in her trial. She's uh, she's she's certainly going to continue to improve as we can stretch her out and trip later in the campaign. So eleven hundred may be a bit sharp for her first up, but still a nice filly and, and, and one one to follow later in her campaign. <laughs>